welcome Facebook. Christian Amber here with hey a there. very exciting, eventful broadcast for you. We're going to show you a million dollar PayPal account. Yeah. In about 10 <laughs> seconds. We're going to dive deep Nine, into some stuff eight, today, guys. Seven, six, five, four. <laughs> we are going to show you a million dollar PayPal account. We're going to show you the difference between connection-based marketing and envy-based marketing and why the, what did I call it? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, promise-based marketing is done. It's toast. It's yep. toast. And I'll, I'll move it to you right now. For sure. All right. Welcome. <laughs> welcome. Welcome. Welcome, guys. Let us know you're here. If you catch the replay, hashtag replay. Uh, we were super stoked about diving into some goodness, feeling good vibes today. Christian discovered something pretty interesting. So I think we have to check the feed because it's saying. I checked it. There's two people with us. It's still on right now. Yeah. Okay. On my end, it's saying we're having trouble. Hmm. Um, I'll check the comments. Whoever's with us, let us know you're here. Let us know if I hear an echo again. Let us know if you can hear us clearly, if it's tolerable sound. We've got all this fancy, fancy gear that's so fun to use. We want to make sure that mm -hmm. we provide you with the best audio and visual experience. So. All right. So let's move on to it. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's have a look at a million-dollar PayPal account. Yeah. So let's go here. Just going to log in real quick. Wow. There it is. There it is. I walked home. I came home today, and Christian showed me this, and I was like, what the heck? Is this is a million-dollar PayPal account, and we made this million dollars today. And yeah, within, within about five minutes. <laughs> and uh, we promise you that you're going to make a million dollars, too. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's, it's not a million-dollar pay, PayPal account, but... I want to show you this for a reason. It sure looks like one, man. You could have tricked me if you really wanted to. You tricked me today. Right. Yeah. So I want to show you this for a reason because it's really easy to fake results and people should be aware of this. And this is actually one of the big reasons why connection-based marketing is in and promise-based marketing is out because promise-based marketing is all about you making promises to your clients. Connection-based marketing is really understanding where your clients are at and providing a service that's going to get them to the next stage that they need to get to, right? So this PayPal account was really easy to fake. I want to show you how this is actually, this is a real PayPal account, right? I'm actually going to log out for a minute. So let's close that. I'm going to log back in. And just so you know, this is a dummy account. This account doesn't have any money in it or very little money. We don't necessarily use this as a primary way of holding funds, but I want to show you how you can easily, like, how people can easily fake these Yeah, and, and I'm just going to interject here. Christian yeah. is not teaching you how to fake a PayPal account. What he's showing you is that a lot of the scammy stuff that you're seeing out there is probably not real. Right. And if it is real, that's great. But that's not the reason why you should buy a product or or... That's not as if you're a coach or a course creator. That's not how you pr should present yourself to your potential client. Well, yeah, they know that. But I think, well, I mean, I believe that everyone in this group would never do anything like that. But I think what's really important is like, guess what? It's actually super simple. We don't even need to show them how, but you go and you not even be yeah, a coder so. and put a couple codes you can literally change what that says, guys, with like the click of a button. How crazy is that? How many of you have seen people go, I'm going to log into my account. I'm going to show you this came in today and this and that. And it's like, it's almost sad to see like how easy it is to fake that stuff. And I think all of us have kind of the, 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 the attractive part of that is to prove that something is working, right? is to show people that what you're doing actually works. But there's a way to do that through connection-based marketing as opposed to this envious style of marketing. Yeah. Right? right. And, I, and I'm kind of almost repulsed by that now. And any high-level coach is going to be repulsed by that. Like, that's just really a lazy way of getting people. And what's going to happen is if you do this style of marketing, if you're a 
coach or a consultant or a course creator and you go and you put these types of things out there, you're going to get people that give you objections. They're going to not be connected to you. They're, 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 you get them on a phone call to see where they're at and if you can help them and there's going to be objection after objection after objection. And we don't want that. We want the shortest path possible to not just showing value but connecting with our potential clients and showing them that we can actually get them to the next stage and we have a pathway of doing that and that's done through building legitimate connections right and building trust and knowing that you know you're going to go all the way with them and I'm, I'm not talking about a connection where there's no leadership involved i'm talking about a connection to your potential client where they know that you're a leader and that you can help them get to the next phase right yeah as opposed to like, look what I did. Guess what? You could probably do it too. So here's my link. Buy my stuff and like, let's do this. This is known as promise-based marketing. Okay. So just so you guys know, this is how I did it. Right click on the number. Hit inspect. A little window is going to pop out right here. And you can see it says 5130 right there. All I need to do is go in here literally and just put 1 million. Hit enter. And all of a sudden, now you got a million dollars showing up oh in your PayPal account. God. It's pretty crazy, right? I've seen this from another guy. It was really, really great. And the whole premise behind this was don't buy everything that you see. Like, don't le legitimately, like, assume that everything out there is doing what it's saying that it's doing. In fact, take a little bit of time, get on a call, and connect with the potential person that you're going to work with to make sure it's a good fit for you. And also, if... A, course creator or a coach or whoever that may be is inviting you to a call with them or their team you know that they've gone the extra step to really connect with you and to understand where you're at so there, this is a very valuable process and what we do in the call thing is like we need to know that it's a good fit for us and for them to work together and we're not going to just send them to a landing page where they're going to see something like this and be like oh my god i need to see i need to have that that's envious based marketing and what happens is buyer's remorse after that. Like the client feels like, oh, you know, it didn't really work for me. And maybe it could have worked for you, but the connection wasn't there. Maybe so, yeah. Mm -hmm. And and add to this because there are course creators in here with lower ticket items that, that they don't do long calls for that or even short calls for that. But so if correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like if you're going to work with someone in an, in a private setting or even in a group setting, there's been this trend. I've noticed a couple trends. It, well, it's not the topic, but I'm going to bring it up now because it's pertinent. There's been this trend, right? And we all know who, you know, who, what coach learns from who and who's all connected. And we're all rooting each other on, frankly. Mm -hmm. but there's been this trend and it's like selling in messenger. Don't get on calls anymore. Like selling high ticket and messenger without really connecting. And part of me was like, wow, I wonder what, I wonder how they do that. And then part of me was like, you know what? I don't actually want to do that because I want to know that I want to see that person face to face and work with them closely for 12 weeks, which is our program. And I want to like, look forward to talking to them every day. So I need to know if they're qualified. Yes. Which I'm sure I could do in messenger, but I really want to connect and say like, Oh my gosh, I want to run with you. I want to breathe life into this vision that you've got. And I want to help you fill in all the pieces that might be missing. And I want to become friends with you over time, you know, like, so with that, like Christian was saying, like all that connection is removed when these other tactics are thrown at things. I can't imagine someone enrolling in our, our private program and not having spoken to them before. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So here's what comes to mind is like, what's the difference between envy based marketing and connection based marketing? And it comes down to one thing. And really this comes down to understanding that it's not about you right it's about your potential clients it's about the people that are going to join your program and the results that they are going to get and not the results that you have gotten and yeah you may have had some great results and your systems work but the most important thing is our client results have having them helping them through a great experience to have breakthroughs, to have result, to have uh, income breakthroughs as well. 
and to set them up for success on the fastest path possible. That's really the most important part. And, you know, the top guys, they go through extensive coaching, 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 coaching. Like, they're always looking for the next thing. And I would even say the top guys are really the guys that have gone through the most coaching. Yeah. So that step of searching for the right coach that's going to connect with you and meet you where you are and help you lift you up out of the trenches and help you give you a pathway to get to that is really the best i think the best investment that we have made in in our business for sure you know so if you're a coach consultant course creator keep these things in mind when you build your systems when you build your marketing it's really about connecting that's what's going to be attractive to your clients it's not going to be about the envy of what you have done Right. That's that's important. It's important, important part because it shows that what you're doing works, but it's not the most important. The most important is the connection from a leadership role, from a leadership perspective, knowing that what you have will help your client get to the next level and having the confidence in that. So here's my question for Amber. How do you do connection based marketing as opposed to envy based marketing? Oh my gosh, what direction do you want me to go? I mean, it's just, it really is all about truly connecting. Or what do you want to, do you want me to say like how I do it or, or what? Yeah, I have two, I have two things in, in mind with, in terms of creating content. Okay. So the first one is going to be legitimately connecting, telling stories about your personal experiences oh, and gosh. taking the time to actually <clears throat> Talk about your personal experiences. Be vulnerable. Show people that you've been through the trenches. So show people that you are dedicated to this. Right? Can and, I? And documenting that, our coach told us, document that as if you were telling or uh, a news reporter for yourself. So just going out there and telling people what's going on. Yeah, you got to be real. I mean, you got to, mm-hmm. I, my pay, my personal profile is a great example of, Like, hey, sometimes stuff gets harder when you level up. It's Mm -hmm. not all sunshine and rainbows. It's not like, oh, yay, let's get you to the next level. Let's do this. Oh, my God, excited, excited, excited. And then you get in a program and you've got to do some work. And you're like, dang, I I was sold on the, the, like, pipe dream here. Like, it's Mm -hmm. about, like, let's connect stuff. There's work to do. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to do the work, (laughs) right? And... All the things, like some days I'm exhausted, I'll talk about it. Um, if I can be really, really honest, I haven't done this in here. You guys, I was I, I hid a personal truth totally not related to business at all. I hid a personal truth for years and years. It was making me sick inside my body. It has nothing to do with business. It has to do with recovery. And I hid for so long that I think finally when I allowed myself to be free with that story, because it's a huge part of my life, I think it's a huge part of... What keeps me going in the right direction allows me to push through challenges in a big way. Um, so now I, I'm not afraid to share anything, thankfully, because I overcame that. So if I could give you one piece of advice on this topic today, I would say go out and share the thing that you've been hesitating to share, whatever that is in your life. I, I can honestly say that was only about two weeks ago that I really put it out there like I had never had before. And I got a lot of people reaching out to me for business and for coaching after I shared that recovery story on my profile, completely unrelated to business because people know I'm real and I'm not afraid to like be courageous and go all in and stuff. And it's weird. I didn't expect that to build that level of trust. And um, it's a beautiful thing. So there's a, there's an example. Yeah, Christian. absolutely. The second thing really a really powerful content principle i guess you would say is to think about some of the objections that your potential clients would have so in their mind like let's say they were about ready to buy your program they're gonna some people don't have objections but majority of people i would say 80 percent probably do think about some of the objections that they would cross that that would cross their mind and talk about those objections on the post or on the video. So here's, I'm going to do it live for you guys, right? I was a person that invested a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of energy 
into buying bits and pieces of the overall machine and trying to make it work myself, trying to build it all myself, right? Building funnels, getting courses, da da da. It led me down a really chaotic path. And the pain that was associated with that was far beyond me just saying, hey, look, I need help. Yeah. I need help. I need to hire a coach. Good point. And when I hired a coach, the investment was scary. It was the biggest investment that we've ever made. Mm. But it was also the leap that pulled me up out of the trenches and gave me a roadmap to exactly what I wanted to create. So during the time when we were on the call with our coach and we were like, oh, I don't know if we can swing that. You know, we're really going to be pushing. How do we pay rent? I'll never forget. We realized that the pain of staying stuck from where we are right now and throwing spaghetti at the wall and trying to figure things out was far greater than, hey, maybe we don't have the money to pay rent. So let's take the jump. And let's commit. <laughs> and we did. And guess what? We basically like 5 x our investment. And not only that, it was the thing that tipped, that changed our life and set us on the path that we are right now. And we're forever grateful for our coaches really standing in their power and saying, hey, dude, like what's on the other side of this decision is life changing. And I understand that and I'm confident in that. And so when you're faced with that decision, and recognize if you're on a call with a coach, if you're on a call with, with somebody that's trying to get you to that next level, they're standing in their power to help you get to the next level, to get through all those limiting beliefs, to get through the old level of thinking that was there and join them in the higher level of thinking that's really transformational. So for a coach to, when you, if you go through some objections, for the coach to really hang in there with those objections, it takes a lot. I've I've been on the other side of it, and I've, I've gone through calls with objections, and it's like, man, I'm really pushing myself, you know, to, to hang in there with these objections So because I know the breakthrough on the other side is so incredibly powerful. So this, I just did it live, right? And legitimately, like, this is a real story, and this really did happen in our life, and, and I'm really, really confident in what we can do with our clients when we are standing in our power and we can hold that space for them to make a decision to go for it. You know what? You sucked me and I forgot you were giving an example. Like you totally sucked me into your story. You were giving an example of how to share truth and, and connect. And that's just an honest, truthful thing that happened in our life. Right. But so many people can benefit out of that, especially if you're, a coach going through the process and you're getting a lot of objections, stand in your power. Like what's on the other side of your client's decision is life changing for them. As long as you can hold them accountable to that decision. Right. So I am so grateful that our coaches do that for us. I mean, it literally changed the course of our life and it literally brought the dream to reality. Like, we're on the path to building a multi-million dollar business, high ticket, doing the stuff that we love because we made the decision and the sacrifice. Okay, maybe, maybe we're not going to pay rent this month and we're willing to risk that. Yep. And it got us out of that rut and it got us into momentum and into transformation. Yeah, so remember when you are speaking to your potential clients, don't forget the magnitude of that. Don't forget, like I go back to that moment all the time Mm -hmm. and I remember how scared I was and I remember the choice I made and the feeling of like, do I say yes to my future or not? And of course I'm going to choose myself. Yes, I'm going to, of course I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to feel into that and and I make a commitment each and every time that we do connect with a potential client that I'm going to hang in there with them. And support them as much as I can until they can feel into that yes for themselves because I know what the future holds the next day, the day after that, weeks after that. We, we, I think we enrolled our first client before our next session or something like that. But the thing that you do... The thing that you do when you invest in yourself and you say yes to yourself and the way that everything starts panning out for you is insane. This is part of the, this is one of the coolest parts of all this energy work and how 
I feel like this group is so different because we're tapping into that energy, into the quantum field. And so when you are speaking with your potential clients and you know they're going to have breakthroughs immediately, like people have breakthroughs after they say yes to themselves and before the next time they see you and before they get the tools from you because they've said yes to themselves. They've shifted into a new reality in that moment and it's your job to hold space for them to do that. Awesome. So exciting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this broadcast. I hope you really got something out of this. And uh, I definitely want to pass it over to Amber to kind of show you the next step if you're interested in potentially going to the next level, the level 2.0 of yourself. Awesome. We can certainly help you do that. How do we? How do people go about that? So one of the greatest things lately has just been private messenger. Send us a message. We get messages from people who are ready and set to go. They know that they are ready for their next level. They're willing to do the work. Wherever you're at, as long as you're willing to do the work, you're committed. I'm talking to a lot of people who are committed to ending this year on a really high note. We want to speak with you. We're actually shifting our program shortly. Mm-hmm. We're scaling it. And We've always regularly increased prices. We've always regularly created more content and leveled up the content. So what I'm getting at is we're shifting into more group coaching and we're shifting out of private. But for the next couple of weeks, we're still offering private package and we're not shifting our prices just quite yet. So if this is something that you've been feeling like is resonating with you on a soul level, then reach out to one of us and Let's connect. Let's dive into where you're at and where you're wanting to go and see if we're the ones to help you get there. And a couple notes on the work side. So one thing that came up, what I thought about when you're talking about this is, oh, I got to work. And here's the reality and the truth behind that is, yes, the work is necessary. There's no way to get there without doing the work. What makes it different really is, one, you're going to have tools to inspire your momentum forward. And two, you're going to have a proven pathway to get to that next level, right? So it's important that we look at these things through the lens of, oh, it's not work. It's the process that we are committed to. It's the process that is going to bring us joy, fulfillment, excitement, all of the above. And we're really going to challenge ourselves to get to that next level. And when you do that, my God, you have transformation. So on that note, just shoot us a PM if you want to see if we can potentially work together. We'll invite you to a call, see where you're at with your business, kind of diagnose things and see how we can get you to the next level. Can I share something? I got a really killer message today. It's not written out, so I can't share it, but I'm kind of tempted to play it. I got an audio testimonial from one of our clients today. I'm kind of tempted to just play it. I'm going to play it. and that this whole way of connecting with people is freaking awesome and super easy. I love it. It's just such an easy task as a daily flow. Um, Getting into it is so easy and so much better. Um, Just like setting out my day, getting things ready, and then going and adding friends and then connecting with them. Um, whether they do calls or not, I mean, at least I'm putting our bond 30 in front of them and they're added to my group and multiple things. I love it. Thanks girl. Awesome. <laughs> Isn't That's so that cool. awesome? That's I know. So I cool. just thought of it when you were saying it because it's all about creating a daily flow that you love. We want to wake mm-hmm. up and we want to be excited to tap into our business. Also, I want to say thanks to that person for <laughs> giving us the inspiration and also inspiring others. So. Shout out to Michaela. Yeah. (laughs) Beautiful. All right, cool. That does it. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and we look forward to doing the next one. We'll catch you on the other side. See you later. Bye, guys. Bye.